Hi, everybody. I wanted to talk a little bit about the relationships and even um, looking at my glasses, relationships from my book, um, Dance With Your Partner, Not Their Confusion. And the book is based on communication, um, separation of relationships. Um, why they separate? Because a lot of times people believe that relationships just don't work as if they work by themselves and the people don't have to put in the work. Well, we do have to put in the work and most of the work comes through our, our maturity. When we mature, um, if we mature, by the way, because I've found that there are men and women that don't you know, mature. Um, this discussion or topic, when I bring it, is never about one individual such as in women bashing men or men bashing women. You know, I like to get a neutral perspective because we have children that have been born that don't understand why their parents are not together. And the parents answer to them is so intellectual, which is still so ignorant. You know, it is because me and your mother or me and your father didn't get along. What kind of answer is that for a child? And you hope for them to have a productive life, right? Your mother and I didn't get along. Well, what is it that caused your mother and I or the father and the mother not to get along? And that is for the individual to find out because when you give a loose answer to a child that you want to see grow up and become a productive citizen in life, what happens is, is that the production of their life is dis, dis, it's disenfranchised. It is um, separated, it is broken because there is a answer that does not make sense. You know, I talk with a lot of people and, you know, I have a young woman that works with me um, in the spiritual context, um, also in the coaching um, business. And um, so we talk about a lot of intricate information that could help people better their lives. A lot of people don't want to better their life. Let's just talk about that. They don't want to communicate or even learn how to communicate properly. Some people don't even want to listen to what the other person has to say. Even in a work relationship, you have the same situations going on because ego is so much more prominent than someone just realizing that you don't have to live in a less confident type of beingness, meaning that you can be confident and not know everything. Confidence is being able to say, I don't know how to do that, but I'm willing to learn. In most cases, what you have is men and women that are faking. They're faking what they can do in life um, because someone else fake. And all of society has shown us to be fake. So when does the real you and me stand up, the authentic person? You know, when do we just open up and say, well, I don't know how to be that. I, you know, um, as a mother, I, I couldn't make it with someone because I just didn't have the understanding on doing it. And, you know, maybe... I'm going to work on trying to learn how to master that area of my life, meaning relationships, because it it bothers me. Until something bothers a person, they will not man up or woman up to figure out why they're in that challenge. And that's why we do have the situations of children that are growing up with no answers of why they have a mother at home or a father separately raising them. Um, also, you know, I get into the, um, areas of, you know, um, helping our people to understand that, um, energy is a big part of it. And energy has a lot to do with, um, the reasons why we came here. Cause if your energy is moody, you get up and you're moody at times, um, that means that you need to bring your moves into balance. And there are people that actually, <laughs> hey, I didn't even know that this was going to go over like this, but there are actually people that need to master being moody. That means that you got to check into 
your emotions and find out why you're so emotional um, at certain times, which will register around the moon time. And, you know, again, you know, our people are so um, socially programmed that they don't want to hear nothing about nothing that they don't know. How about learning something that you don't know? This is where you, you know, you earn and, and, and things change in your life, such as if you're moody, who wants to be around you when you're moody? Because when you're moody, what's happening is, is that someone has got to dance to your tune or they got to step on eggshells or, you know, that kind of thing. And yeah, no one wants to be in that kind of energy, right? They don't. I mean, when you tell the truth, a lot of people will tolerate you when you're being moody, but people don't want to be in that kind of energy. So eventually when the mood keeps coming up and you as the individual with the mood has not addressed it, you're going to lose. If you had something in your life that was valuable and you're moody, say like you're a Piscean energy, you're moody and you don't even know that you were born under that water energy that makes you you know, toss and turn. You even become like typhoons and tsunamis in your uh, moods. Then what happens is, is that you're going to lose um, valuable people in your life because you are the one that needs to learn to master your shit. So how does that go over into relationships? I remind you again, uh, for the children, that's what my life is based on is for the children. You learn how to do your shadow work like these here young ladies that have tuned in. They learn the shadow aspect because they work with me. And I didn't even know when I had um, signed up for this here stream yard that it would be so easy for y'all to come in like this. How about that? How y'all find me on um, here? Are you on YouTube or something? I know I sound crazy, but I got to know Ashley and, and um, Oni. Y'all have to type it in. So anyway, the moods. When you find or you are you become conscious enough to see that you have mood swings, don't expect people to just deal with that. Expect that your moods being um, nasty and standoffish, you don't want to be bothered with, is going to give the message that people have to leave your life. You want them to leave your life because you don't want to learn how to manage um, the moods. Okay, what else here? In the astrology, I was just talking to Ashley too, and not not I called you two days ago, and um, okay, <laughs> oh, look, I called you two days ago, night, and you ain't answer, so you you have to call me back. Um, anyway, we're gonna be on here tomorrow talking about um why men and women don't man up concerning taking care of their children what is the controversy with women and men especially of culture taking care of their children let me just put that one on hold right now because i want to stay with the energy i believe in teaching people about energy patterns you know what i'm saying why because the bible told me so and anybody out there that doesn't like what i'm saying please just don't listen to my uh videos because i'm bringing the truth the reason why we keep repeating patterns is because we don't go back in time and look at patterns so if communication was an issue with you and you were born as a gemini you might go and see that chiron the wounded healer is in a house with your Gemini aspect or in a house like my granddaughter had. She has Chiron in the ninth house, which is the philosophical house, the ninth house of Jupiter. Um, she was having struggles with um, talking, um, stuttering. And this year, um, yeah, she's not stuttering or uh, having problems talking anymore. She started yelling. Um, her opinion out because in the ninth house, if anyone studies, you have philosophy. What do you think? You know what I'm saying? Because that's where Jupiter is, even though Jupiter as Zeus is a player. We'll talk about that at another time. But philosophy is all about our governments, how they're created, the contracts, um, what you believe, biblical, um, religion, uh, your spiritual um, fortification, how you can take um, your religion to the next level of, of um, spirituality and not just be, you know, set at 
religion, which is what I learned from religion as a Baptist person. I went and I learned the apostolic um, way, learning but catching the spirit, the anointing. And from that, I still saw that there was a lack of liberty for uh, us and the people. So what I did is went on into spirituality. Why? Because spirituality is where you get freedom. When you build your community of um, spiritual influence, what's happening is, is that you are teaching and your people um, become teachers and they're able to become free, free of what? Free of shame, free from prejudice, free from discrimination, free to be who you are, not in a way where it's hurting other people, but free in a way where you can express yourself in the aspect of Gemini. Because all Geminis are not, they don't come here where they can communicate properly. And that can be their um, area of need to um, overcome. Because see, when you talk about Bible, we're we're looking at, the fact of the matter that there's something that we have to overcome. And um, Jesus said over in John, um, the fifth chapter, and you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. What is it that you need to become free from? So when you have mood swings going back, you got mood swings and you have not mastered the mood. That means that the mood has mastered you and the mood is what is um, propelling your life. That means that your mood can influence you so that you live an unhealthy life. I mean, think about it. So you want to master the mood. Now, what else could the mood do when we go back and we're at the beginning and we're talking about our children? Because that's me. You know, I'm here to uh, be an advocate of a Malcolm X type of movement where families and communities of in poverty are healed because it's possible. How do you heal them? You teach people ignorant of truth, facts of life, which is everything that I've given you. Why did they hide um, information from certain people? Because if you get certain information, you would be influenced to a place where you will rise above their idea of where you should be in life. Now. Who, who, who does this freedom lie on at this time of our, our lives? Salvation is what freedom is about, right? Just to give you some connections with the Bible or your religion. So if salvation is about freedom and even the Buddha, you know, he found himself becoming free when he exiled away from um, his inheritance of a prince or a king, you know, where he was at. Uh, most of them were living in very um, high status that are considered to be masters. And so what they did is took a step away from all of the pump and circumstance, um, all of the living that they uh, had concerning everything and they stepped over into living nothingness because nothingness is where you're able to create from. So when you take a child that has been separated from his mother or father. They have a separated family. We don't really have children that are in poverty. The po- in poverty, the poverty is mental because they grow up to believe that they're lacking something. You're not lacking anything but the thought of prosperity. Well, how could you be prosperous, Kim, and the father or the mother is not there? Well, you have to learn that that may have been your lot to take you into an influential life where you could teach others or you could reach for the highest of highs because a child that is with his father, you know, I'm looking out here at a tree and he reaches for the apples on the tree. If his father lift him up, he will see that he has support, right? There are a lot of Um, others that are in that position, but a child that has to reach for himself will learn more. Now, I'm not saying that it should be this way because I'm bringing the conversation tomorrow in regards of that, because I'm tired of, I'm tired of our men. I heard a, a YouTube where the men were saying that the women don't look at them and smile. Well, let me tell you why I don't smile at you. Because for centuries, you have been a part of making my life hard. 
my forefathers and my um, the women, the generations cycle. Why should I have to look at you and smile when you won't even become accountable for what you had not done? Now, I will say that in the men context, because that's what my family has went through, you know, and my son brought something very, very strong and positive. And he was like, well, why am I interested in certain type of women when I have a mother that's like this, meaning a brown skinned woman, brown skin, you know? And so, you know, I thought it was so powerful what he said. And he said, I had to realize that just because mom, you had the same color skin as some of these other women that I had been with did not mean that you did not know how to act or that you would act like them. Of course, you didn't act like them. He said, you raised me. I saw that. So all black women are not aggressive. They are not angry. And they're not about taking something from you. The ones that are angry, aggressive, and they want to take from the men are in their own personality. I can only speak for those and the ones that I've worked with to help to see that we come into a balance and we're able to uh, be able to smile at our men. First, we got to heal. The next thing is, is if anybody's paying attention to the need for healing, right? Because even when I talked about astrology, no one is looking at um, the genetics and the biological makeup of a child in a mother's womb and the separation between them and the father or her separating from the father, because this is a two way street. Women are doing it as well. This is true. But I'm offended when I see, you know, someone talk about or talk to a black woman who can't even answer why don't y'all smile at us? Give me something to smile for, dude. Now I'm smiling now because I got my freedom, but I told you how freedom comes. A lot of women and men don't understand that the world is not your freedom. The world is your prison. The world is the place where you are. You're operating as a slave. I don't care what they said about Kanye West. The problem with Kanye is that he didn't bring the whole truth. Listen, this was a place of slavery to begin. This is a place. America is a corporation for you to work for others to become rich, not yourself. So when the people become um, wise enough to understand that, they will also understand the wisdom that they need to bring and heal their own families. Because if you separate from your family and the woman or the man has to take care of them, that adds more to the weight on their shoulders. Whichever one has the children. Because see, what happens is, is that you did not have to go to bed with these people unprotected having sex. This is accountability. When you become accountable, then the struggle is over because you accept your part of what's, what wasn't uh, right in the relationship or and, and, and so does she or he, however it goes. And the child doesn't have to hear, well, we didn't get along. Well, shit, if you was going to bed together, you got along for five minutes or three minutes, Joe, then you should be able to get along for the rest of your life if you learn how to grow. So. Any man out there that feels like black women are aggressive, there's a lot that we've had to endure that has went down in the genetics as well as the spiritual aspect of our lives. Really, own up and stop living like you're in a day-to-day. -day. Listen, you can't overcome yesterday until you heal yesterday. So all of that baggage is lagging along with our culture, the men and the women. You can put on a, a dapper suit, but see, I can still see you. Non-secure, non-competent. You feel good because your exterior is dressed up. But you know what? We got people like me. I'm going to dress up and I'm going to be who I am. And I'm going to tell you like it is because I've went to the core of my heart to find out who I am. Yeah, I was aggressive and angry. 
And now I'm getting aggressive and angry because I'm hearing black men talk about women and they ain't owning their stuff. Own up your, your stuff. Come to the table, you know, and, and then when you own your stuff, then I can smile at you. You know, when I own my stuff and I say, listen, I lived a life of I don't know. I don't even want to say that I was a player, but I was experiencing life out there. And um, I had boyfriends, you know, before I got married or whatever. Um, divorce. And then I had boyfriends again. Well, how did it work? It never worked out the way that I thought it would work out simply because I wasn't conscious enough to appreciate the men. And some of the men, let me just tell you something. They did not appreciate themselves. for So we were um, compatible because we didn't appreciate ourselves. And this is where you come to the place and your child says, why are you getting a divorce? Because we can't get along. <laughs> you know, and that's too funny to me at this time in my life because we don't get along because you want to dominate. And I'm not going to submit to your domination because you want to control. And why do people want to control? Because they're egotistical and they feel like without control, they can't handle things. They don't trust. Yeah. So tomorrow um, it, it will be about 330 Eastern. I'm going to tell you some of the topics that we're going to dis discuss. And, and you know what? Since I've been on here, I might be live streaming so much I might get tired of me. So um, I invited my brother to come on because he's hilarious. I hope he does because he raised his children and he was a player. So he can have a versatile um, idea and look uh, uh, at this and also, you know, information to give us because he's in that time where he's settling down now. Uh, what are we going to talk about? Um, black families separated and the effects it has caused on our culture. Because, you know, if we as black men and women continue to fight each other and we don't find a happy median, then what happens is, is that our culture is split and our children are split, right? We got families that are living in poverty. And, you know, I'm that statistic person because I work in behavior health. You know, I was telling a young lady yesterday. Split families cause economic issues, social issues, and biological issues, which causes unauthentic living. So what you have is children being born into situations that cause automatic mental issues, anxiety, depression. Why? Because I get an answer from my mother or father. I just don't get along with him. And boo, baby. You better have her behind back here at this time. Why you ain't do her hair? And what's wrong? Your girlfriend better not touch her hair. All of that kind of foolishness. You know what I'm saying? And we got to grow up. And if it's anybody out there that don't like the antics, listen, this is what we get in our culture. Why? Why can't we grow up? Why aren't people going deep enough to look at the woundings that need to be healed? Here we go. So how do you feel raising children alone? It's burdensome. It's not that the children are burdensome, but why would I feel that I should raise a child alone when I conceived it with someone? This is backwards, okay? So I'm gonna smile at you while I'm raising your child and you not helping me, right? You may not be helping me on the levels financially, socially, um, mentally, uh, emotionally, pick which one uh, applies. And this can be a woman or a man. But the thing is, is that the split is there because there's a conversation that needs to be had in that area. You know, so many people are talking about politics, really? What you, you talking about politics? What, what is that going to help when our families need education about themselves to know that a child is born um, with social issues from the family uh, paradigm or economic or biological issues is going to grow up and then they're going to graduate. If they don't graduate and get some help, 
they're going to grow up with that mental state and all of that dysfunction is still going to play a part in their uh, life, which is causing mental health to increase, not to mention the politicians that we talk about, right? So do you think all men or women are sorry in the black population due to their absence? Because I've heard that. Listen, I don't think anybody is sorry. I think that your actions display something. I, you know, I want to call our black men kings. You know, in my position, I've always wanted to be with a black man. Why? Because I'm a good looking black woman and on his arm with his kingly uh, facade and, and the way that he looks, we gonna reign together. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I don't wanna hear nothing about politics with black people. I wanna hear black people getting together, solving the social issues of separation concerning their families. If you don't have no children, cool. Maybe you can get the message over that way. But if you have children, it's time for you to stop thinking that it is okay for you to just say to your child, we didn't get along and learn how to get along with yourself so that you can get along with the mother or the father of your child. This is like, that's total ignorance to me. I, I you know, I totally, yes, we all have to grow up. Hey, Sherry. Yeah, we all have to grow up and we have to awaken. That's the beautiful thing about Christ, you know? The truth will make you free. So some of us sitting up in here free and we've been listening to people talk about why don't the sisters smile at the men and centuries. We can go back. This is not an isolated incident. Please, you know, email this link over so other sisters can participate even tomorrow with what we're going to talk about. Um, the absence of the mother or father in the black family and what it's doing because you cannot solve a problem for a black person without their mother and father learning that you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have laid down and had sex and if you hitting her she need to hit you back now I give a disclaimer uh, to anybody that's in abuse you need to get some help but if a man or a woman is hitting listen you need to get some help but you produce the children with that abuser. You need to think about the fact that you're a stronger individual than to uh, deserve to be hit or cussed out. All of this here is social issues. You know, when a man or a woman makes a man or a woman in our culture feel less than, do you know that it is taking away from our culture? I mean, I'm proud of being black. I, I I don't have no problem, but in the, the, the face of it all, the irony is how we continue to tear each other down. I smile at anybody, honestly. It was just a statement that was made by someone that has a dating site, why black women don't smile. Think about all of the years and centuries again of the pain. Let's go back and heal it. And then let's come forward because you cannot heal a wound of centuries today just by saying, well, that was them. No, they're connected to us. All of them that was back in the slave uh, plantations and our families were scattered. See, all of that's a part of this. And you know what? I know it's a lot of people that don't like to do history. But if you don't go and look at history, then you're going to always live his story instead of your story or her story or my story. There's no story that you can write. Jesus gives that to you, your ability to become free. Any, even in, in a salvation conversation, people get it twisted because salvation is not religious. Salvation is about freedom. So everything and even the passion. Yeah, I'm passionate about it because it's very simple to me that if um, I was able to tell my son or my daughter, whatever the case is, you, you know, your mama just get on my nerves. You need to get a nerve check. Your father just he ain't got no money and I need a man with money. You knew he ain't had no money before you got with. Please. Get another answer for your children. 
change you and change your life. And so tomorrow we will be back on at 3.30 Eastern with some of those questions. And I'm hoping my brother will come on so he can really, he can make us laugh. I'm about to call him right now. Um, New Day Lawn Service in Detroit, Michigan. Yep, that's where I'm from. And I got Detroit on here, Sherry. She from Detroit. We got um, DC, Oni is on here. And um, I think, let's see, Ashley. Ashley from Maryland. See, all of this East Coast, that's that's where all of the um the women, they they were said saying that um the women from the East Coast was about drama. And you know, I done had men say that I was drama. Sitting there not saying nothing. You just can't get no kind of you a good person or nothing, Jersey. I'm sorry. Ashley from Jersey. You can't get no goodness from them, especially when they hating on you. You know, you just drama. Even when you overcome yourself and you stop giving drama, you still drama. Dang, I just can't. I can't do nothing to be right. Well, you know, at this point, I don't care what they say. I love life and I love people. And I'm just putting it out there that y'all better stop looking for politicians to make your life great because the politicians ain't did it in centuries. <laughs> Are they going to? Let's wake up. Now, whatever changes you need in your life or in your community, y'all gonna have to get out there and do it. That's how I've seen it. You know, people homeless, they keep calculating more homelessness, but your your, your politicians, what, what, what are they doing for them? People co constantly becoming or uh, needing mental health uh, checkups and uh, drug, opioid issues, politicians, right? So over here, you can't tell me that I'm wrong. People looking at the wrong thing. The number one uh, thing that you should be looking at is why I cannot sustain a relationship after I didn't have children. And it's okay that that man or that woman is 20 years down the road gone, but for the health and welfare of yourself and your children because your children going to duplicate what they what they see to break the patterns this is where you know your conversation has to be and it has to be within your communities you cannot rely on politicians to to change the outcome of your home because your home is in the position it is due to the social issues the social economic issues of the collective consciousness, which has been brainwashed by the political system, the government. All right. Of course, you can email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. And you can tell me your thoughts. Your thoughts are admirable. I, you know, I accept them. It's not my way um, conversation. I'm looking for people that want to uh, come into the conversation and bridge the gap for our culture, because if we don't, our seeds will die off. See, I am invested in the seed of the Black woman and the Black man. Does that mean that I'm prejudiced? No, I'll teach everyone because I think that ignorance is upon the land and we all need help. Why I, am I directly addressing our people? Because it's, it's, it's the people that I'm involved with, my color. And unfortunately, you can't get us to work together for nothing. And no one sees that the separation happened back in the plantations. Read the Declaration of Independence and read the history of it. And what Jefferson said about releasing the slaves together, read it. Because that idea that he had not to release the slaves together has not left us. They didn't want to release them together because they felt inferior to the people, the black people. A lot of this here, um, the upheaval of history is happening through the energies, just like. George Floyd, all of these people in our culture dying, ki being killed. You know, you don't just go into talking about family. Well, mom, why are you, you know, divorcing dad or why is dad? You, man, when you start talking about this, you, 
if you're um, someone that prays and God is with you, you're going to begin to see the whole paradigm because Deuteronomy 6 said to sit at the table with your children and sup. What you going to sup with them about? You're going to talk to them about the issues that are going on in the world. Why? Because they need to be educated. Even from the 1700s, 1600s, you know, my sons call me because I have taught them on these things. Why? Because they need to know patterns. They need to know that the cycles of, um, I, I'm, I'm a father, but I don't have to stay in this same house with the woman I had sex with and had that baby with. I don't have to stay with her or her saying that he can go to hell. You know, he ain't no good because she didn't see in him what she she should have she didn't see in him something that she should have because she never she was never brought up with a man to know what a man does so how do you bridge the gap yeah you bring conversations between your own people because if your people and the 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 core of our cultures is not healed then that means that we lose you see i don't just lose you don't just lose. All of the divorce courts and separation courts is mandated by a statistic number of 80% of Caucasians. That means that they're mandating overseeing papers and documents such as is adding to their conversation about us. Become responsible with your life and your sexual organs. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to keep it real. Because if you did not go to bed with that person, you ain't got no child there. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking about the issues of our children growing up without a whole family. Because the mother or the father didn't have sense enough to know that sex is not love. All right, so I see y'all tomorrow at 3.30. Thank you for everyone that has come on and everyone that's listened. And that's me. You know, I get quiet and you may not hear from me at times because I'm thinking. But we have to come out of the box and we have to begin to speak to, you know, our families, to our neighbors. That's where it is because no one is going to solve the problems for us but us. It's a time of community. So God bless y'all. And thank you for um, you guys that came on. Sherry, thank you for chiming in. I know you got something to say, honey. And um, for the sake of, of Christ, you know, the excellence um, of a woman has to be taught to the young women. So, you know, I, I say that to you, Sherry, the women have to be taught because the elder women are not teaching anymore. Um, that went away. And so we have to put this out here, you know. Um, it's not just about men being absent. I mean, if a man is afraid to smile at a black woman because she may be too aggressive, we need to think about it. Uh, the other, and, and, and it's turned around. Uh, where do we find our peace? And I know my peace to be found in Christ. You know, that's why I have a daily devotion. I get up every morning and I go to bed with it every night. You know, my meditation, you know, my prayers. Why? Because I, I, I got to be who I am and it's not who I was, you know, when I was out there um, fighting and brawling or, or, you know, like my mother, if she was on here, she'd be like, yeah, acting up like my mother, you know, that kind of thing and cussing people out as I would in the past. No, you got to change. Why? Because it's not even um, attractive. It's not attractive. You also got to look at yourself and begin to say, who do I really think I am? Or am I a duplicate of my past or my forefathers who I don't want to be? Change you. That's transformation. How do you change you? God got you. Christ got you. Because the truth is accepting that you don't feel good about yourself. You're not confident, but you got to be truthful about that. And that's for men and women. The reason why we fall short is because we don't even know that we're living an unauthentic life. We're not truthful with ourselves about confidence issues. You know, 
whatever you feel like you're lack, lacking confidence confidence in you you got to come forward and begin to work work with it and whatever paradigm it is in because as i said see my granddaughter having that energy of chiron in the seventh house she broke through that uh this year she is not in a speech impediment anymore she is yelling and, and screaming her opinion and you know even though she was yelling and screaming i told my son she she'll calm down you know let her feel herself in her voice how many women out there by the way and men that have been quiet are feeling their self you know like beyonce you feeling yourself because you feel some kind of urge or a spark of something coming up and saying live and how do you live you you become honest with how you felt about things that you experienced in life you also become honest and you let people know that done you wrong you ain't that same person anymore you know and and you know these young ladies know listen we could play new edition and that dude is talking about i'm sorry you're not my kind of girl i know you're attracted to me and i should feel the same about you you know why he wasn't attracted to her because she was a woman of integrity and she had knowledge listen to the song y'all go back and listen because you will get an understanding that men sometimes and women are not confident enough to stay in a relationship with a woman or a man that is confident and is intelligent you you know they they become intimidated so i have to stop talking now because i have to get off i've been on here long enough and um so you guys thanks for coming on and i'll see y'all tomorrow